A surprising new study shows an increase in the rate of strokes in younger patients. Our health expert, Dr. Kevin Campbell, here this morning with more on this surprising new research. Doc, good to see you. Good to see you, Phil. What exactly is a stroke? So a stroke, you need to think of just like a heart attack. It's a brain attack. It's a lack of blood flow to certain areas of the brain. It can be from bleeding inside the brain. It can also be from blockages in the blood vessels inside the brain. When I hear the word stroke, I usually think, and obviously wrongly, um, I, used, I think older patients. Exactly. The majority of strokes do happen in older patients, but a brand new study has shown that the rate of strokes in those 20 to 60 has gone up by 25%. 25%. What do doctors like yourself attribute to that to? So the best explanation is the fact that as Americans, we're an obese society, which means that we're more apt to have high blood pressure, diabetes, bulging waistlines, and all of these are important risk factors for having strokes. In what way? Well, we know that being overweight can predispose you to having higher blood pressures. It's harder to control. Having diabetes can cause vascular or blood vessel damage, can also cause uh, blockages to form in the blood vessels along with the high blood pressure. And that's why it leads to high risk of heart attack and stroke, in so, all honesty. So as our country becomes more obese, the rate of stroke goes through the roof. Goes through the roof, just like the rate of heart attack. Right now, we spend $150 billion a year on obesity related mm. illness. If we stay on the current trend, we will spend three times that by the year 2020. Bottom line, I would imagine we need to get skinnier. We need to lose weight, get healthy, get in the gym, eat well, and understand and recognize the symptoms of stroke so that you are having a stroke, you'll know what to do. Or if a friend of yours or a spouse or a family member. All right. All right. Dr. Kevin Campbell, good to see you. Thank good you. Good to see you. Thanks Always so good much. information. Uh, we, of course, have a link on our website to Dr. Kevin Campbell's website. Just search under links we mentioned on WNCN.com. You can also like his Facebook page and find how to hit him up on Twitter. He does respond to questions.